Okay, so before my mission, when I saw that I was going to Brazil, I saw Curitiba. Um, I definitely didn't pronounce it like that because I had no idea what that place was. I've never heard of it in my life. Um, and I'm sure many of you have never heard of Curitiba. Um, it's, a, it's a city in the southern part of Brazil, the third most southern state in Brazil. It's a great place. If you ever have the opportunity to go to Brazil, I, um, I highly suggest that you go to Curitiba. It's amazing. Um, but hearing I'd be going to Brazil, I thought, oh yeah, I'm gonna be, everyone's going to be on the street playing soccer all day. It's going to be, everyone hates Argentina. Um, because <laughs> of the rivalry between Argentina and Brazil in soccer. I just thought their lives revolved around soccer. Um, I thought there'd be a ton of rivers like the Amazon um, that um, um, it would just be a party kind of after seeing all the things that go on in Rio. I thought it'd be a lot like Rio, um, the setting there. Just, um, just I had a lot of stereotypes going into it. Just I'd only be eating rice and beans every day. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of interesting stereotypes that I had about Brazil. But when I got there, I realized that it wasn't such that um, there's, it's, um, there are a lot of people that play soccer, but it's not, um, it's not like everyone's on the street playing soccer all day. There's normal kids like in the United States who, who um, use their cell phones normally like we do, Facebook, Twitter, all those uh, social media platforms. Um, not everyone's the biggest fan of soccer. I mean, when the World Cup comes around, when the Olympics come around, obviously they love it. But it's not like everyone there is obsessed with soccer like we have this stereotype that they are. Um, I did eat a lot of rice and beans, but it wasn't just this meal that I had every day. There's people who would feed us some amazing food. Oh man, the food there was amazing. Principal meant the churrasco, the barbecue. Um, the meat there was fantastic. Um, there's specifically this one place in Curitiba. If you ever go there to serve and you serve in the steak porto, estaca porto, or if you're around that area in Curitiba just visiting for whatever reason, if you're, in, if you're Brazilian or not visiting Curitiba, um, go to a place called Suprema Grill. They have the best uh, churrasco that I've ever had in my life. It was amazing. I loved it. Um, we would save up money just to go there because it was amazing. Um, so there's a lot of diversity within food there. There's a lot of European influence in southern Brazil. So there's a lot of potatoes and, and things of that nature, a lot of heavy food. And so the food there was great. I had a big, big misconception of what the food would be like. Not everyone loves spicy food. Like a lot of people think just being Latin America that everything will be spicy. That's not always the case. A lot of people don't, they don't even like spicy food in southern Brazil. Um, um, yeah, and just the setting of it too, it was more like a rainforest. It rained, it rained a lot, but it, there was never these, these giant rivers like you would expect. Think of Brazil, think of the Amazon, and um, just like thinking of like the, eating those like fish in the, from the Amazonic rivers, things like that. There's not a whole lot of that. I mean, I think I may have eaten fish once in my mission or something. Um, but yeah, it rains a ton. The weather there is super, super hot and humid. Another stereotype that I had was that it would be hot all year, but in the winter it would get so cold. I have never felt so cold in my life as I did in the winter in Brazil. Oh my goodness, it was insane how cold it gets there. So if you go there to serve, bring a good winter jacket, a good winter coat, because you're going to need it, because it gets freezing there with the humidity. It feels like it just sticks to you, and it's, it's fun. You're going to love it.